My second question is, why do you think it's important for organizations to be nurturing the populations of, of candidates that they might want to hire in the future? Yeah, I've always thought that was that shouldn't be a, a strange question. I mean, um, if you look at the UK just now, what's unemployment? 4%. Mm. So I'll, I'll posit a view that most good people who want a job have got one. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to recruit people, you're recruiting somebody who's already working, might be even happy and contented and enjoying themselves. And then you come along and say, I want you to work for me. Well, you need to know who those people are. You need to know where they are. Yeah. You need to know uh, why they would come and, ever come and work for you. And if you don't know the answer to that question, you've got a bit of, <laughs> that's a bit of a kind of issue. So I, uh, and the nature of the labor market now is I think you do need to spend time and effort trying to work out who are the people that you would like to come and work for you. Yeah. I, I hate using sporting analogies, but I, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if we go into premiership league football clubs, there's somebody with a whole database of footballers for every position. Yeah. And all the way now going back into the academies of yeah. other clubs and they're monitoring 8, 12, 14-year-olds all the way through their career on the basis that one day they might want to sign them or they may become available. And that's what companies need to do. I've never thought about that before, but actually sporting teams are developing the, probably the very, very best talent pipelines of uh, of any organizations and we should all be emulating that yeah i mean their their whole business is their view of talent yeah yeah absolutely. and it, which is now global yeah. and expensive and difficult and all, all those other things and companies it's exactly the same yeah i mean i was reading about the government's twenty thousand um recruiting twenty thousand police officers yeah uh -huh. And then uh, I read some stuff that actually you need to add into that the fact that 24,000 police officers are retiring over the next five years in England and Wales. Yeah. So the recruitment's actually 44,000. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if you took 10 um, applicants for every role, that's half a million people. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the requirements for policing in, the, uh, in England and Wales are that you need to be graduate level. <laughs> So if you just think that as an exercise, where are we going to get half a million potential ap good applicants for those, these 50,000 jobs in the next five years? Yeah. It's not going to happen quickly and it's going to be very difficult. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agreed. But if you were, if you, it's made more difficult by the fact that you're doing that from a standing start. Yeah. If you had a handle on all of that for the last 10 years, it would be a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely.